Okay, welcome back. So continuing with with these um, with these pieces that move or move the player, we're going to make a trampoline, and it's very similar to the conveyor. So the first thing we need is a part. So let's go ahead and insert a block, and let's uh, call this trampoline. Okay, and um, again, we're going to anchor it. And let's change the color. I'm going to make this one green. Uh, yeah, that works. And then let's change the size. So this one I'm going to make a 12, 1, 12. Make it nice and square. Okay. And then move it. So I'm going to move it slightly. That works. And I've anchored it. Okay. And then uh, again, the only thing that we really have to do is go down here to the assembly linear velocity. And this time, instead of X, we're going to change the Y. And we're going to make that something, let me see, I forget what values we should use. Let's try a 50 and see how, how that works. So with a 50, um, let's test it. So go ahead and push play and see how high I jump when I jump onto this thing. Uh, that's not really that high. You can see it's jumping, but it's not very high. So let's make it high. Let's make it a bigger number. So instead of 50, let's try 200. Let's see how high that makes us jump. So push play, test this value. Oh yeah, that's, uh, <laughs> that's nice and high. Okay, I like that. So 200. And that is really high. You might actually want to go down to like 100 or 150. Um, this is pretty much impossible to control. But that's good. Okay, so you can play around with that value and make it what you like. Okay, so it's working. So now what we want to do, and uh, you know what? I'm actually going to change that to like 100 and see what that looks like here in a minute. Because we're going to make a bunch of these. Let's make that 100. See, I'm kind of curious. Okay, and now what we want to do again is add an image to let the player know that if they step on this piece, they're going to jump. So I'm just going to use a circle to look kind of like a trampoline. So I'm going to type circle here in the toolbox and just look for a nice empty circle. Let's see. I forget which one I used before. Huh. Let's see what this one looks like. No, that doesn't look good. Let's look for another one. Uh, I wanted like a nice thick circle. I wonder what this one would look like. Um, you know, that'll work. We've got a black circle on a green uh, square and that, that's fine. And you can choose whatever circle you'd like here. Oh, you know what? There was a, I forget the one I used before. It was kind of a 3D looking circle, but Oh, that one, you know what? Let me do control Z. Let's try this blue one. Yeah, it looks better. I forget the one. I There was a kind of a 3D looking circle on here last time that was really great. But seems to be gone. Oh well, okay, so we'll just use this one. So let me go ahead and close this and let's make some copies of this. Okay, so let me turn on the move and let me make a copy of this. Let me select my trampoline. Oh, and uh, make sure I select both of these. So for some reason it only selected the trampoline, but you can actually um, do control left click and it'll select multiple things just to make sure that both of these are are selected and then I make a copy yep and I move it and I'm just gonna make I'm just gonna make um, three of these so make a copy and move it and let's check and see if it did that thing again where it did not um, copy over the properties yeah it did not so we have to change those so let's make that a um, let's try a hundred for this and try a hundred for this one. 
and let's see if this is too high again you can just try different values and see what you like i think it looks nice when the player jumps high but it's really hard to control so let's see so a hundred is actually not bad you can actually control it and if you move yeah i think if you're more in the center it seems to jump higher but let's um let's just jump to the other one hmm, let me see if i can make him jump higher oh there it goes yeah let me see if in the middle he jumps higher yeah it seems to depend on where you are inside of the inside of the circle let's try uh different values let's try 150 for each of those so let me go down here and let's change that to 150 for all three of them. And this is something you do when you're making games. You try certain values, you test it, and change those values. Okay, let's see what this looks like. Yeah, that's pretty good. Okay. And you can actually hear him. <laughs> yeah, I think 150 is a good value. So let me go to the next one. Okay, so that is a little challenging. Again, the higher that he jumps, the ha harder that it is to control this. So let's see if I can make it all the way across. Yeah, and I did. And that's not too bad. 150 is um pretty good. And it still jumps pretty high. Again, I'm not sure why it jumps higher certain times than others. It just seems to be something random. But uh, it looks nice. Okay, so and there we go. Got a really high jump. Let me go ahead and stop this. Okay, so that is how you would make a trampoline or a jumper. And I'm going to go ahead and save one of these. So let me delete this one. Delete this one. And this one here. Um, let me check something. If I select it, ah, it still doesn't select both of them. Okay, so just make sure, I wonder if I can select it using this. Let me see. Ah, huh, still doesn't. Okay, so again, the way that you select more than one item, more than one uh, object here in the Explorer window is by holding control and left clicking. Okay, and so now I've selected both of these. So make sure you, you, um, you do that. I'm not sure if you have it just like this if you only have trampoline selected, if it would select, if it would save it with the decal. Um, but I'm just going to select both of them. That's easy enough. And then we go ahead and save to Roblox. Trampoline, allow copying, and we submit it. And it worked. We close. And we've made our second kind of dynamic obby piece, right? So this one will jump the player um, up and down. So that was uh, the second piece. And in the next one, we're going to make a motor. And this is kind of different from the way um, other kind of videos show how to rotate things. Um, because what we're going to do is we're going to make a reusable motor that we can attach to anything. And um, just makes it a, a little easier instead of having to um, make this little motor every single time. We'll just save one to our toolbox and then attach it to anything that we want to rotate. And we'll do that in the next video. I will see you then.